today we're going to go ahead and walk y'all through a few of the labs we have here at Northwestern, ranging from our chemical engineering labs on our Evanston campus, some medical labs we have in downtown Chicago. While we are there, we're going to go ahead and talk to some current undergraduate students, see how they joined these labs and how they started the research careers here at Northwestern and what they hope to get out of these labs in the future. We truly do have a lab here for everybody, so we do hope that something we say today resonates with you. My lab is in civil and environmental engineering and we focus on environmental microbiology. One of the things I'm really interested in is the microbes that are around us and inside us and how they react to, for example, cleaning chemicals or drugs that we use to treat infection. The ultimate goal is to protect human and environmental health. Alright, so what is the research here in the Hartman lab? Uh, my research is investigating Pseudomonas aeruginosa. It's a type of bacteria that typically infects the human lung. Um, and my research focuses on finding alternatives to typical therapies using these little viruses called bacteriophage. Uh, for me personally, I would like to follow this research further in my career. Um, I'm pre-med, but I'm pursuing an MD-PhD. And hopefully the research that I'm doing here will help me get started on that journey and help progress the science. I feel like the reason I joined the Hartman lab was, first off, it was very accessible to join. I felt like um, the people in the lab were very nice and friendly, and it was really easy to reach out. Part of the reason I like lab research is because you really like dig deep and get to understand what's going on rather than just like what you gloss over in your classes. The Hunter Lab is centered around sustainable catalysis, and the main idea behind that is throughout the course of human history, we've run different reactions, burning fossil fuels and coal that have resulted in a surplus of either useless chemicals or chemicals that have a negative impact on our environment. And so the goal of our lab is to find materials that can run those reactions backwards. It's super easy and accessible for everyone to do it. Like there's tons of different grants that they have. Um, like I've received a grant every single summer, so I've been like paid to do research, which is really nice. And there's just so many labs and it's very research focused. Like in some ways there's almost an expectation that you do research, which is kind of cool because then it means that everyone has the opportunity to do it if they want to. The um, Office of Undergraduate Research, they really helped me out, they set me up, they helped me find labs, find what I was like capable with and helped me explore and then I just kind of did some research on my own into each what each lab was doing and yeah, talked to my, like the chem faculty and saw which labs I thought would be most interesting to me. All right, we are here in the REACT lab today with Professor Schweitzer. So, uh, thank you for having us. Can you tell us like, a bit what you do in the lab here? Yeah, so the REACT lab, it stands for the Reactor Engineering and Catalyst Testing Facility. It's a user facility under the Trenin's Institute for Sustainability. And what we do here is we train students and we provide instrumentation for catalyst testing, primarily in uh, sustainable technology. So. I think, you know, sort of finding like my own direction right now, a lot of what I'm doing is, you know, there's existing projects that I'm sort of getting, adding on to, which is really nice because, you know, I'm, there's a lot of people who can, you know, help me to get the, the understanding that I need in order to do the research. Um, and I'm sort of learning about all of these different areas that they work in in the Swear Lab. Um, but I would like to, you know, start to propose my own direction and, you know, sort of use what I've learned now to maybe, you know, research things that, you know, I might be a little bit more interested in. But yeah, I'm really grateful for this experience, so. So our research uh, focuses on, um, I would say, investigations into uh, improving therapeutic interventions and device interventions for individuals who make use of assistive devices. So these might be individuals who have musculoskeletal impairments such as amputation or neurological impairments such as chronic stroke. What we're doing is we're trying to improve those interventions to enhance their independence, uh, their mobility, and their quality of life. Um, the laboratory itself um, spans a variety of different uh, research disciplines, so we're actually quite interdisciplinary, spanning biomedical engineering to rehabilitation science, including aspects of uh, physical therapy and, and cognitive behavioral science. So it's really quite uh, multidisciplinary in terms of what we were trying to accomplish. I think that going to Northwestern, it gives you access to a lot of like cutting edge like opportunities, like you have like very high-end facilities, very experienced professors, and you can definitely learn a lot, especially as an undergrad here. So in my lab, we're really interested in understanding how microbes affect the biology of the animals that they're living 
in and on. We're interested in understanding how the environment affects health and how the microbes living in and on the body may be mediating that effect. Most of the primates we work with are wild primates. Um, and so we are getting samples from all over the world. In the past, I sent a student to Madagascar and she collected samples from lemurs in Madagascar. I think it's the fact that um, research is so big at Northwestern that you can easily connect with a lot of other faculties. So I very much appreciate Professor Amato for um, connecting me with other labs and faculty. So if I want to learn more about the immune system, for example, I can go to another lab and connect with the faculty there and just talk to them and learn more about the lab methods there or just essentially learning about their work. So I think with Northwestern, it's very easy to get connected with other labs. Uh, we really enjoy having undergrads in the lab here. Um, one of the reasons that I am where I am today is because somebody let me work in their lab and I've had a lot of great mentors. And so I really try to take students in whenever I can because I know that whether they like research or not, this is a really great opportunity to kind of try to figure that out and put people on their path moving forward. Um, and so we really enjoy having the undergrads here and being able to pass that along. That was a little about research both here on our Evanston campus as well as our downtown campuses in downtown Chicago. We hope that something we said today resonated with you and we look forward to seeing you all in the fall. If you're looking for the full list of all research labs here on campus, please visit the website for the Office of Undergraduate Research here at Northwestern University.